Kaffia canifera kaffia is a genus of flowering plants in the family Rubiaceae. Kaffia species are shrubs or small trees native to tropical and southern Africa and tropical Asia. The seeds of some species, called coffee beans, are used to flavor various beverages and products. The fruits, like the seeds, contain a large amount of caffeine, and have a distinct sweet taste and are often juiced. The plant ranks as one of the world's most valuable and widely traded commodity crops and is an important export product of several countries, including those in Central and South America, the Caribbean and Africa. Kaffia fruits, Bali There are over 120 species of kaffia, which is grown from seed. The two most popular are kaffia arabica, which accounts for 60-80% to of the world's coffee production, and kaffia canifera, which accounts for about 20-40%. C. arabica is preferred for its sweeter taste, while C. canifera has a higher caffeine content. C. arabica has its origins in the highlands of Ethiopia and the Boma Plateau of Sudan, and was the result of a hybrid between C. canifera and C. eugenioides. The trees produce edible red or purple fruits, which are described either as epigenous berries or as indecent droops. The fruit is often referred to as a coffee cherry, and it contains two seeds, called coffee beans. Despite these terms, coffee is neither a true cherry nor a true bean. In about 5-10% to of any crop of coffee fruits, only a single bean is found. Called a peaberry, it is smaller and rounder than a normal coffee bean. When grown in the tropics, coffee is a vigorous bush or small tree that usually grows to a height of 3-3.5 to 3. 5 meters. Most commonly cultivated coffee species grow best at high elevations, but do not tolerate freezing temperatures. The tree of Kaffia arabica will grow fruits after 3 to 5 years, producing for an average of 50 to 60 years, although up to 100 is possible. The white flowers are highly scented. The fruit takes about 9 months to ripen. Kaffia flower Kaffia fruit cross section Kaffia racemosa fruits Kaffia arabica beans germinating Kaffia arabica flowers ripe Kaffia arabica. Fruits beans inside a Kaffia arabica fruit the caffeine in coffee bean serves as a toxic substance protecting the seeds of the plant a form of natural plant defense against herbivory. Caffeine simultaneously attracts pollinators, specifically honeybees, by creating an olfactory memory that signals bees to return to the plant's flowers. Not all coffee species contain caffeine, and the earliest species had little or no caffeine content. Caffeine has evolved independently in multiple lineages of coffee in Africa, perhaps in response to high pest predation in the humid environments of West Central Africa. Caffeine has also evolved independently in the more distantly related genera Theobroma and Camellia. This suggests that caffeine production is an adaptive trait in coffee and plant evolution. The fruit and leaves also contain caffeine, and can be used to make coffee cherry tea and coffee leaf tea. The fruit is also used in many brands of soft drink as well as prepackaged teas. Several insect pests affect coffee production, including the coffee borer beetle and the coffee leaf miner. Coffee is used as a food plant by the larvae of some Lepidoptera species, Dalsera abrasa, turnip moth and some members of the genus Endocleta, including E. dammer and E. malabaricus. New species of Kaffia are still being identified in the 2000s. In 2008 and 2009, researchers from the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q named seven from the mountains of northern Madagascar, including C. ambongensis, C. boinensis, C. lobatii, C. terracarpa, C. bicetti, and C. namorocensis. In 2008, two new species were discovered in Cameroon. Kaffia charyariana, which is caffeine-free, and Kaffia anthony. By crossing the new species with other known coffees, two new features might be introduced to cultivated coffee plants, beans without caffeine and self-pollination. In 2011, Kaffia absorbed the 20 species of the former genus Pisilanthus due to the morphological and genetic similarities between the two genera. Historically, the two have been considered distinct genera due to differences in the length of the corolla tube and the anther arrangement. Kaffia with a short corolla tube and exerted style and anthers, Pisilanthus with a long corolla tube and included anthers. However, these characteristics were not present in all species of either respective genus, making the two genera overwhelmingly similar in both morphology and genetic sequence. This transfer expanded Kaffia from 104 species to 124, and extended its native distribution to tropical Asia and Australasia. In 2014, the coffee genome was published, with more than 25,000 genes identified. This revealed that coffee plants make caffeine using a different set of genes from those found in tea, cacao and other such plants. In 2017, 
a robust and almost fully resolved phylogeny of the entire genus was published. In addition to resolving the relationships of Kafia species, this study's results suggest Africa or Asia as the likely ancestral origin of Kafia and point to several independent radiations across Africa, Asia, and the Western Indian Ocean Islands. In 2020 a technique of DNA fingerprinting, or genetic authentication of plant material was proven effective for coffee. For the study, scientists used DNA extraction and SSR marker analysis. This technique or one similar may allow for several improvements to coffee production such as improved information for farmers as to the susceptibility of their coffee plants to pests and disease. A professionalized coffee seed system, and transparency and traceability for buyers of green, unroasted coffee. Thanks for watching.